Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we'll be taking a look at MSI's brand new GH40 ENC with environmental noise cancelling. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we'll be taking a look at MSI's GH40 ENC with environmental noise cancelling. I keep on wanting to say environmental noise control, but it's not, it's noise cancelling. So this is a new product from MSI, which they've kindly sent over to us for review purposes. Uh, they haven't asked us to say anything. And to be completely honest with you, because this product is so new, uh, there's basically no information on it. So you'll be seeing this on the first day of release in the UK, Europe, etc. And uh, yeah, I don't even know the price. So if I do find out the price in the meantime, before this video actually airs, I will put it in the comments section below. So check out the pinned comment and you'll see all prices, links, etc., etc. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's take a look at this headset. So you're probably asking, well, what is new about this? Well, primarily the actual ENC or environmental noise cancelling. So what they've added in is effectively an algorithm, which very much like your headsets from kind of Sony and other premium brands, they've incorporated this into the actual DAC the USB DAC, which is built into the controller. So it listens to the microphone. It's got two parts to the microphone, one of which registers what is going on outside and one of which registers which is going on closer to your mouth. And it kind of combines the two to work out what should be heard and what shouldn't be heard. And actually, it does a pretty fantastic job of doing that, as you'll hear a little bit later on in the video. So running through the specs of this, so this is a USB headset. Uh, it does have a built-in microphone, obviously, for the uh, environmental noise cancelling. It also has 40 mil drivers in there, which are factory tuned as well. Also, the headset folds up for easy storage. It's got a USB cable, which is about two and a half meters long, so nice and long. So if you want to plug it into the back of your PC and run the cable around to the front, no problems at all. It actually comes with a really handy little remote, which is in line as well. So if you want to control things like the 7.1 surround, which is an option, you can convert that to be an on or off just with the press of a button and the buttons are illuminated so even in the darkness you know exactly what you've pressed. Also on the remote control there's an option to mute the microphone and also there is an option for playing and pausing so if you're watching a movie on Amazon Prime or maybe on YouTube you can just press the button and it'll play and pause and also with that there is audible notes as well which will notify you that you've actually pressed something so if you press the mic button it'll say mic on or mic muted so you know exactly what you're doing even if you're doing it without looking at the remote, which I think is actually a very good addition. In terms of audio, so we have got a frequency response between 20 and 20,000 hertz. The microphone is unidirectional and has a frequency response between 100 and 10,000 kilohertz. Looking at the back of the box, it goes into some more detail about some of the parts there. So we've got the clear voice capture with ENC, which again, you'll hear a little bit later. Uh, Nahemic for headset. So as part of MSI software, they do go really head into the Nahemic Kind of software processing so that is actually integrated within the microphone itself like it says there control is everything and i couldn't agree more actually having inline remote as well as obviously having software control for me is very important especially things like your microphone button play and pause is extremely important for me especially if i'm working away and uh kath or someone else wants me or the doorbell goes i can just press the play pause button very easily get up go and answer the door very easy to do and another part of it is being foldable and flexible again very important these days with storage being at a premium, especially uh, if you're unboxing for a living, you do tend to get a lot of these things. So actually being able to fold them up nicely and pack them in a bag is brilliant. Makes life traveling, commuting, all that kind of stuff much, much easier. When it comes to the unboxing experience, there isn't a great deal in there and there's a little bit of cardboard and also you do get your instruction manual, which uh, is very basic and just tells you basically it's a USB headset. So yeah, you may not find a great deal of interest in that, but where you will find a lot of interest is actually in the headset itself, which I feel actually looks very premium. MSI have actually come away from the whole kind of uh, gamery aspect of things, even though these are really solidly aimed at gamers, like obviously with that environmental noise cancelling, that does help out gamers immensely, especially things like keyboard clacking away, um, using joysticks, that sort of thing, or any other background noise, maybe your kid brother or whatever screaming in the background, that is going to be massively reduced with this headset. So to plug in the headset, first of all, you're going to need a USB port. So this supports USB 2.0, obviously any other USB port. I've tried it on USB 3.0 and it works just as well. No problems there. Got a really nice braided cable on there, which is always a good thing to see. And as we get towards the... Uh, Middle of the cable, there is the actual control unit. So as you can see there, it's got the 7.1 button at the bottom there. 
you've got the mic mute or unmute button in the middle and at the top there you've got your play and pause. Now something else you've got as well on the side is a volume rocker which is also very nice to have if you want to make those quick on the fly changes that is very handy indeed and the cable I think has been done particularly well it isn't overly heavy and it does flex quite nicely. Talking of flexing quite nicely the headset itself does also do that it's got a pretty decent clamping force although it doesn't feel overly harsh just feels quite natural and the cushioning actually on the ear cups themselves is very very thick it's covered with a leatherette material and it doesn't appear to be very sweaty these are over ear headphones so you find your ear actually going inside there and it's also padded and cushioned on the inside as well so it isn't uncomfortable on your ears even if they are slightly larger overall a very very positive experience extremely comfortable and backing that up on the top there is also the padded headband done in the same material again extremely soft and pliable so if you're uh, someone who is like me follically challenged you're not going to find it uncomfortable on your head in terms of other adjustments so there's a little bit of adjustment on the cups themselves so a little bit of wiggle room there what is really nice is the fact that you have got some extension on there as well and the ratchet they've used on this appears to be extremely high quality so it's a solid metal construction and also it's hinged as well and the ratcheting mechanism almost feels like a really expensive screwdriver Yes, Linus, I'm looking at you. Also, if you want to fold these down to uh, store them, then it's quite easy to do. And again, this is a super solid mechanism. So just fold them in half and then you can wrap the cable around and put it in your bag, that sort of thing. So that's very good. The actual mechanism, the metal mechanism on here is really solid. You can actually hear it. It just really does click into place. It's extremely solid. And I've actually given it uh, a lot of basically abuse essentially I've dropped it a couple of times as well which uh, I do apologize in advance on the side but it hasn't damaged it and I was surprised actually it hasn't shown any damage on there at all it's all finished in this really nice kind of gunmetal silver very nice indeed and something which I thought I wasn't going to like is the fact that there is no RGB now I'm a RGB fan as uh, you can possibly tell and I do like to actually have my headphones synchronized with the rest of my RGB but I thought these actually look nice enough to not have RGB. The design language they've used is really nice. And even just the little accents on there, this will blend in really nicely with pretty much any rig because you've got, obviously, you've got the silver there, a little bit of a lighter silver, and you've got the black accents as well. So yeah, it should tie in with pretty much most builds and setups. The microphone itself is actually done really cleverly. So if you're somebody like me who quite often, um, if you're working or maybe eating at your desk and you've got a microphone, then having a microphone which is in the way is a real pain in the backside so generally you find yourself with the microphone boom just kind of twisting it out of the way because it's getting in the way of your arm trying to get the fork in your face with this you don't have to worry about that anymore so you just literally flick that up and it puts it out of the way something which they haven't done which i would have liked to have seen on this is some sort of an electrical contact in there so that when you flip it into the upright position it mutes the microphone sadly this isn't the case so it will still pick up, although because of the noise cancelling and because the microphone isn't actually right in front of your face, it does actually block out a lot of the noise. So if you try and use it in the upright position, people will probably say that you sound completely muffled or they just basically can't hear you, which kind of essentially is doing the same thing as having an audio shut off. Now I've actually been listening to these last uh, couple of days or so and listening to some music and gaming and all that kind of stuff. The 7.1 audio is exceptionally good, especially if you're into your games like Counter-Strike or anything where positional accuracy helps. Games like Fortnite obviously is going to give you that slight advantage because you're going to hear where the footsteps are coming from. And I did find there was a definite difference between turning the 7.1 button on and turning it off. Now clearly there aren't 7.1 speakers in here, it is all done on a digital basis, but it does appear to do it in a very good way. And actually I would probably suggest for most people, even just for general Windows use, and for watching things on YouTube, just general consumption, I would leave the 7.1 on all the time anyway. It does seem to lift all the levels slightly and give a little bit more bass. So let's take a little listen now to a recording I've done a little bit earlier with some sound tests with various things running in the background. Okay, so this is a sound test of the MSI Immers GH40 ENC. And this is the sound of my voice. Currently the EQ or the levels are set in OBS as minus 4.3 dB. Noise cancelling is uh, inherently on in the headset, so I have no choice over that. Uh, there is options on the actual remote, so I can press the mute button. And now I'm back in the room. So that is how to mute or unmute the microphone, should you wish to. I'm uh, just going to do some sound tests now. So I'm going to get the uh, clock here, 
a little bit closer to the mic. And that is about four, maybe five inches away from the actual microphone. Next, we're going to try some controller noise. So Xbox controller and see how this affects. See if you can still hear. We'll see. Generally, you probably wouldn't be clicking quite as rapidly as that, or maybe you might do, depending on what game you're playing. So this is a sound test with the Xbox controller being used at approximately 10 to 12 inches away from the microphone. Next up is going to be a particular clicky keyboard. So let's try some typing and see if the ENC, electronic noise cancelling, actually makes much of a difference, whether it mutes it or not. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to need to listen back to this to see what it's like. And uh, I'll report back in the video very, very shortly. Okay, and talking of the Nahimic for headset, this is the headset currently recording. We are using the almost the default settings. So you've got options here for all of your audio. So you've got things like your surround sound you can turn on, volume stabilizer, uh, voices you can add, dB to make certain voices stand out if you wish to. You've got options for bass and treble. And you can do that in various sections. So you've got music, movie, communication, and for gaming. So you can have individual settings for each one of your types of uh, entertainment or communication. So lots of options there, or you can just, if you want to, just turn the whole lot completely off. The choice is entirely up to you. It's a pretty decent bit of software. So this is for your output. And when it comes to the microphone, you've got a very similar sort of setup. So you can turn the effects on. You've got your static noise suppression. So currently we're set to your environment is quiet because it currently is. So if you want to, you can increase that. So there's environmental noise cancelling, or if it's particularly noisy, you can set it right up here, which is probably making it break up. Uh, the default is somewhere around this sort of area, but you can turn it off entirely if you want to. You've got your voice stabilizer, so it'll keep the volume levels okay. You've also got your microphone gain levels there. But yeah, got plenty of settings there, updates, firmware, etc. All of which in this nice tidy little app, which actually installs itself automatically. So whenever you plug in the headset, this is going to set itself up. So in the surround sound, you can go ahead and try different things. So there is. So you can turn that on or off. Anyway, you get the general idea. So there's a nice little application, uh, specifically licensed for this particular headset, included free of charge. So normally for Nahemic for headset, you would have to actually pay a fee for this. So the fact that it actually comes included is a really nice addition in my opinion. So there you go, noise cancelling actually, I think it's brilliant. I, I can hear the clock here and you can possibly hear it if you, uh, if I'd be quiet a minute, you can probably hear other environmental things. Although when we did the recording with this, with the microphone, even when I held the clock, like literally a couple of inches away from my microphone, which you can probably hear quite clearly now, you couldn't hear it at all. So it does a really good job of those slightly less obvious noises. So that's gonna be great if there's things like maybe sirens in the background, maybe you live in some busy suburban area. Um, obviously, like I said before, if you've got kids or other things going on, you're not in a room on your own, then this is going to be really good if you want to have those kind of more private chats or gaming chats and you don't want everyone to know what's going on in your family business. So yeah, that is excellent. The one thing which they haven't said at the moment is the price of these. So as the day of recording, which I think is the 6th of September today, these are due to be released on the 15th of September. So as it stands at the moment, I have no idea how much these are going to cost. But I am going to hedge my bets and I would say if they come out on the market for somewhere in the region of about £50, I think that would be a, uh, a very fair price and would be certainly something I would put on my shopping list if I didn't have the GH50s already, which are slightly better, but they do cost £70, so it is swings and roundabouts. Uh, like I said, if you're going from a cheap kind of £10, £20 headset, it's going to be a massive improvement in terms of, well, actually pretty much everything. Sound quality, obviously microphone quality is going to be far, far superior. And the comfort levels are exceptional. These are an extremely comfortable set of headphones, which actually is something which MSI is doing a pretty good job of recently. So anyway, that's going to wrap up the GH40 ENC. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. And also do check out the comments section below because there'll be a pinned comment with prices and links. So if you want to pick up a set of these for yourself, then you certainly can do. So that's going to wrap this one up. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.